even though jobs may be scarce, there may be hope with an event that brings close to 100 employers to Southern. And what's happening during Spring Week? From the annual concert to performances by Southern students. Southern Rugby is back in action this spring. Updates on who they're facing Saturday. You're tuned in to SCSU TV. You're watching SoCo 14. You're watching SoCo 14. You're watching SoCo 14. It's your only source for campus news and events. Your only source for campus news and events. Your only source for campus news and events. <laughs> your only source for campus news and events. Hello, welcome to SCSU TV. I'm Matt Borelli. And I'm Erin McGuckin. Southern Spring Week is coming up the last week of April, and there are many different events that will be available to all students. From Southern Idol and performance by Brian Regan to the Spring Week concert featuring Wale and Jay Cole. Tickets for the Spring Week concert are on sale now for Southern students only and are $10 a ticket. Make sure you keep the week open to enjoy all the events that Southern is putting on for the students. Issues on male and female stereotypes and how they can lead to domestic violence has been addressed in the dorms on campus. The new men's initi initiative at the Women's Center is standing up against these stereotypes and violence. Christina Chiarelli has our story. The smell of pizza was not the only reason why Southern students were brought out of their rooms in Brownell Hall. There was also a talk on gender stereotypes. Sophomore social work major Meg Williams says she wanted a break from midterm review. Well, I first came out because I wanted to get away from studying. I thought this was like an informational way to get out, but um, it was really worthwhile just to sit there and listen to all these things that I'd never heard before. The talk was led by Alex Fernandez, who works for the Men's Initiative for Southern's Women's Center. Because one of the reasons why they say guys are strong is because we bottle everything off, we don't let anything bother us, right? Because we don't show our emotion. All right. Is the human brain built to do that? No. Give me an example why not. Well, I first walked into the event not really knowing what to expect. And then when I sat down, he talked about stereotypes. Again, you can think of a thousand things when someone mentioned stereotypes. But when he started mentioning, you know, like the domestic violence statistics and how some people think men are more likely to commit it, it kind of hits a personal note. Fernandez says when people start to believe in stereotypes, they're led to violence. The purpose of the men's initiative is to stand up against it. Senior social work major Clarissa Files says it's a good idea. New information that I'm sure will be good, that it's good that I get the word out to this group and then everyone can spread the word around campus. Fernandez says domestic violence and sexual assault has increased since 1989, whereas other types of crime has gone down. Reporting from Southern, I'm Christina Chiarelli. Where can you meet with numerous employers potentially setting up a job for when you graduate? The Career Fair is that place and you can check it out April 12th for nursing and education majors. The General Fair takes place April 13th. Close to 100 Connecticut regional and national employers meet on campus to recruit students and alumni for full-time, part-time, summer and co-op opportunities. This is an excellent chance to explore careers, talk to professionals in your field, network and practice your skills. Business attire is required, and the fair takes place in the Adante Student Center Ballroom. The Southern Rugby team is hosting a tournament on Saturday, April 10th. Southern will face both Boston University and Quinnipiac University. There will be free food supplied for all the spectators that come out to the tournament. Come out and support our rugby team. Tuition will be on the rise again this semester. We caught up with some Southern students to get their opinions on the increase that will be coming out of their wallets this fall. Exactly agree with it totally, but if it's something we got to do, we hopefully it's not something too extreme. One of the main reasons I like went to this school is because it's in state, so I keep tuition low. Well, people are obviously going to be angry because money is tight. Um, but I mean, sometimes there's just nothing that they can do. Like costs are going up all the time. So as much as I don't want to pay tuition, I understand why they're doing it. There are probably less people like wanting to come here, and it's going to affect them a lot because the economy is bad. Tuition increase will be 6.2% for commuting students and 5.8% for residents. If you want your head to be nodding to the beat, then come out and check out one of the hottest stars in jazz, Jeff Galob, along with a swift guitar and a hip band, the In Huge Groove. The performance is on April 10th in the Lyman Center. Tickets start at $25 for SESU active alumni, staff, and faculty. $15 for SESU students with a valid ID and seating is reserved. Call the box office to save, 203-392-6154, or visit tickets.southernct.edu for tickets. 
Thanks for watching SCSU TV. I'm Erin McGuckin. And I'm Matt Morelli. Join us next time. SoCo 14, the campus news show produced by the SCSU Communication and Journalism Departments.